Hello guys, this is the video series for course MEC 106 that is Public Economics and in this video we are going to learn about the Welfare Foundations of Economic Policies Unit 1. So what is Public Economics and Welfare Economics we will see in this video. In the next coming up videos we will learn about the concept of welfare. So with the introduction what is Public Economics? Actually, public economics deals with the government intervention in the economy. Uh, whether it is a competitive based economy or a command economy, in any type of economy, government intervention is there. In competitive economy, it will be minimum and in a command economy, government tries to control each and everything. But uh, government intervention will be there. So, why there is the need for government intervention uh, through public policies, we will learn that. Actually, if even if it is a perfectly competitive market based economy, even in that scenario, in some of the cases or some of the situations, it won't be possible to reach or achieve the maximum optimal Pareto position. Why? Because of these some kind of distortions. Some of the distortions are monopoly and monopsony. That is, you know, monopoly is the one seller and many buyers and opposite is the monopsony. Examples of monopsony is government jobs market. Only government is the only buyer for all those jobs and there are so many aspirants who are willing to join government jobs. So next is the taxes or subsidies. If the government want uh, revenue or it want equality in society, so it needs to redistribute that revenue. So in that case, government has to intervene in the economy and uh, use these tools. Then only redistribution is possible. Then there comes the existence of public goods. Whenever this public goods come, market or per private market economy fails to achieve any kind of uh, welfare, optimal welfare. So if there is public goods, there will be government. Like if there is defense or any kind of public good, government must be there. We will see why private market fail to achieve optimal level in the coming up chapters. So then there are the externality factors. Many consumption or production of goods or services have externalities associated with them. And the private market is only concerned about uh, their private cost or individual cost. They does not bother about uh, what is the social cost associated with them. Government needs to take care of all these externalities like education, has positive externality and pollution in a factory has negative externality. So government needs to take care of all these things, private market won't take care. So in all these scenarios, any individual agent fail to attain their maximum uh, optimal welfare level without uh, the interference of government. 